Hi there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. In this video, we're going to tackle core one integration. And in this particular first video, we're just basically going to talk about what is integration and just introduce some standard notation, nothing else. To start with, just to get us in the flavour of this, we're going to start off by reminding ourselves what differentiation is. So I'd just like you to take a second to see if you can remember the definition of differentiation or what it helps us find. Right, well hopefully you remembered this. Differentiation, um, imagine we had a curve, so it's for curves, it's not really for straight lines. So suppose we had a curve and that curve was called y or was called f of x. Differentiation, if we differentiate the curve y, we get dy by dx, or we get f dash dx, and they're both called the gradient function. Okay, so they're the gradient functions. And the purpose of finding them was to find the gradient at a point on the curve. So say we wanted to find the gradient there, um, it is in order to find, so we differentiate to find you can't find the gradient of the curve because it changes at all different places, but it's to find the gradient at a point on the curve. And hopefully you'll remember what it means for uh, to have a gradient of a point at the curve. It is equal to the gradient of the tangent at that point on the curve. So it is equal to mt, gradient of the tangent of the point on the curve. OK, so that's what differentiation was all about for us. So now I want you to, you to think about what integration is. Now, integration, uh, well, let's just I, I quickly go back as well. There was a rule here I just want to go through. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller, sorry. And there's one rule that I wanted you to remember. Do you remember if y was equal to x to the power of n, let's say, then dy by dx, remember you bring down the n and you reduce the power by 1, keep the x, n minus 1. Do you remember that? That was the process of differentiation. Okay, now let's think about integration. This is what integration is. Integration is the reverse or opposite process to differentiation. So what it does is it takes you back from the thing that was differentiated to the original function. Now imagine in the case I gave you before, remember y was equal to let's say x cubed and if you differentiate that dy by dx, you would get 3x squared. So that's the process of differentiation. Okay, going from y to dy by dx. Actually, the process of integration is going from dy by dx back to the original function. So that's the process of integration, going backwards. Now, in this case, if you integrate 3x squared, it's not quite x cubed. I will explain why in a second video. It's, it's, x, it's almost x cubed, but I'll, I'll explain why in detail in, a pre, in the next video. But differentiation uh, gives you the gradient function, and integration brings you back to the original function. Now, there's two reasons we're going to use this, and it's important you know the two reasons. So there are two reasons to use it. And you have to know these. Now, in core one, you use one of them. In core two, you use another one a lot more. But I want you to learn these reasons in this video. This is the first case you use it. If someone gives you f dash dx or dy by dx, right, you use integration to find the original function. So if someone gave you the gradient function you would integrate in order to uh, find 
Well, what? If you integrate f dash dx and get the original function, that would have been your f of x. Or if you integrate dy by dx, you would get y back. So that's the first obvious use of integration. There is a second use that we're not going to cover in core one, but you will cover it very soon in core two. And I want you to keep it in your mind for now. We use integration to find the area beneath a curve. It's so cool, integration. It allows you, say for example, I had a curve, something like this. Say my curve looked like, uh, I don't know, that there. And I wanted to find the area between there and there, which isn't an obvious shape, an easy shape to find out because it's got a curve. Integration would find that for me. Now, you're not going to see this in core uh, one, but you will see it very quickly in core two. So, just to recap, integration is the reverse or opposite process of differentiation. And there are two reasons you use it. This is really our core one reason, and in core two, we're going to use it for this reason. In core one, we'd be given the gradient function f dash dx or dy by dx, and we would use integration to find the original function f of x or y by reversing the differentiation process. Okay, so from going from the thing differentiated back up to the original function, and there's an easy way to do that. An integration in core two is going to be used to find the area between a curve, beneath a curve. Right, last thing to point out, very last thing to point out, a little bit of notation. If you're integrating something, there is a sign for it. So say, for example, I gave you the original the, say I gave you f dash x and I asked you to integrate it. There is a sign and this is the sign. It looks like a big, kind of a big s but a flat s like that. That means, that there means I am going to integrate f dash x, the function f dash x. That's what it's telling you. I am about to integrate it. And when you integrate it, you will get um, your original function back, f of x. And you'll also get something else here, but I'm going to just put bubble for now. I'm not going to explain that. But you will get your original after you've done the thing. So this here means I am going to integrate this, and when I have, this is the answer I get. Okay, so that's important you learn that sign. There's another thing, I'm missing something out. You have to put in this thing called dx in here. Now, all that is telling you, that just means with respect to x. It just means x is the variable that you're going to be altering in this. Do you remember when I told you if, you're, if you've got y equals x squared and you do dy by dx, that's telling you you are changing the x powers, you are saying 2x like that. In the same way here, this little dx here is saying, when I'm integrating this, it's the x variable I care about. So the two bits of notation you need to learn, this integral sign means I'm about to integrate, and this dx tells you what variable you are integrating with respect to. So for example, I could integrate um, a different function, maybe g dashed of y, let's say a function with y's in it, with respect to y. I would be allowed to do that if y was the thing I was interested in. So I hope that made sense and introduced integration for you. Thanks loads for watching.